Good Monday morning, everybody. I haven't done a seven-minute teaching, seven-plus, in a long time. And uh, just want to share with you, uh, I'm into maps, the name of cities, the name of people. Did you Do you have the book, Who's Who in the Bible? Every name in the Old and New Testament and a paragraph or two on what the Bible says about them. Do you know that Paul had 12 plus disciples and in each six, in each half, there was a woman. So there were five men and a woman. Uh, Lydia is in the first six and Prissa or Priscilla is in the second six. So Paul had his disciples, faithful men that knew Paul's gospel and message, the gospel of peace, the mystery of Christ in you why you must study the, the word mystery and the word way, W-A-Y. By the way, here's one of four aliases, B period, E period, B period, junior archived on YouTube, search. Also my full name, Bernard Eugene Beringer Jr., will find you teachings. Errol Anderson will find you teachings. Arrow spelled A-R-R-O-H-E, Anderson. Galatians is the book. To the first amen, you know it only takes five verses to get to the first amen. Sila, think upon, meditate on, amen. It is so. Finished, complete, fullness, that's where perfect should be taken out of the Bible concerning anything other than the Lord Jesus Christ. There was only one perfect human being on earth, and because it was God, it was the Spirit of God in that human being, Jesus of Nazareth, the Lord Jesus. May I say this? <laughs> I was going to use a name, but I won't. People, if you are servants of of the Lord Jesus. Romans 10, 9. You believe and confess with your lips or your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Therefore, you call him all the time if you're saved and filled with the Spirit of Christ, sealed by the Holy Spirit, the anointing Spirit of Christ in you. You call him Lord. May I repeat it? Lock in major doctrine. Lord, 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 Lord. Did you get the point? Did you get it? That's my hillbilly way of saying, that's my Michigan hillbilly way of saying, did you get it? Paul, an apostle, not from man nor through man. No man taught Paul. The Lord Jesus Christ himself in the Arabian desert taught Paul for over a year. Then he returns to Damascus teaches in the synagogues that Jesus of Nazareth, the Lord, is the Christ, the Son of God. And it's three years, 1,095 days, a few days, 1,095, if we use our calendar, before he returns to Jerusalem. When he went there and got converted on the road to Damascus, blinded. And who was it? Ananias? Ananias came and prayed for Paul, told to do two things by the Lord, by the Holy Spirit. Go there, lay hands on him, that he might receive his sight and be filled with the Spirit. So when it speaks of baptism there, it's not a wet water baptism of John. It's the Holy Spirit washed, cleansed within, inside, filled with Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, word truth. The baptism of Paul in Acts by Ananias was spiritual. The Holy Spirit baptism, the Lord Jesus Christ's baptism is spiritual. Washed inside, Titus 3, 4 through 8. All right, I read on. But through the Lord, I add the Lord Jesus Christ, 
I X'd out and Jesus Christ is God El Father El Yon. The Lord Jesus Christ is the Lord God. The Lord Jesus Christ is El Father El Yon was in him. He said, when you see me, you see the Father. The Father is in me and I am in the Father. We are one in harmony with each other. We are the one and the same is what he was trying to say. And the Father, part two of Romans 10, 9 and 10, is you confess Jesus as Lord, believe that Jesus is the Lord Jesus, and that El, Father, El, Yon. You know what the two titles are? They're singular titles. El, do you know the meaning of El? First, strong and almighty. Title, Father, do you know the meaning of El, Yon? It's the most high or the highest. And God who cannot lie said, I know of no living gods before me. I'm first. And I know of no living gods higher than me. I am highest. I am the most high, El Yon. So much for that teaching. El, Father, El Yon, who raised him from the dead. Speaking of the Lord Jesus Christ after the cross. Raised him from the dead. And all the brethren who are with me saw Paul of Tarsus. Galatia is a bewitched, foolish area in the middle of Turkey of believers that fall away to another gospel. Who hath bewitched you? O foolish Galatians, chapter 3 of Galatia. But yet there are truths in the letter, but Galatia, a landmass... In Asia, in the center of Turkey, those believers turned to another gospel taught by Judaizers. They fell away from Paul's teachings. Paul said so in either 1 Timothy or 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy, around the 110, Timothy, all Asia has turned away from me, turned away from Paul's teachings. I read on. We're going past seven minutes. That was a seven-minute beep there. Verse 2, And all the brethren who are with me, Saul, Paul of Tarsus, to the called out of Galatia. It says churches, but it's the Greek right there is the called out ones. And you can be called out from Catholicism. You can be called out from the religion Judaism. My Bible mentor said, and, the, and God wrenched me out of Judaism. You can be called out from the religion. The religion Judaism killed Messiah. The priesthood of Judaism killed Messiah. It was only those Israelites of the singular seed Christ that came from Jacob to Israel that loved Messiah Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, followed him in love. Judaism and the priesthood were jealous of his power and authority and plotted to kill him and finally killed the Lord Jesus Christ. Judaism priesthood, Sadducee, Pharisee, scribes of the religion Judaism. It's Israel that loves that is the remnant that will be saved. I'm making major, verse 3. Grace be to you in peace. It's about grace and peace with mercy in the middle. Mercy takes his place. In the last three or four letters of Paul, you find mercy between grace and peace. Grace to you and peace from God, El, Father, El, Yan, and our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself. Anytime you run into the word himself, it's ransom for life. He gave himself all of himself, his breath, his mind, his heart, his spirit soul, his conscience, all right? All that is a human being, bone, flesh, blood, oxygen, himself, totally a ransom payment. The greatest thing a man can do for his brother in love is lay down his life. If you love supremely and ultimately, you can lay down your life for someone, a wife, your children, a friend, 
You can lay down your life. You can fight and die for freedom. A lot of military men did that. Okay, I read on. Verse 4, who gave himself a ransom for life truth. Himself ransom for life truth. Before salvation came on the scene, the Lord said, For this I was born, and came into your world, your realm, to bear witness to the truth. Those that are of the truth hear my voice. That was stated before salvation at the cross by giving himself, all of himself, including his blood, and flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. You have to go through and beyond, all right, the cross, the blood, the grave, the resurrection, 40 days on earth to ascend, 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 four times in the fourth, or three times in the fourth chapter of Ephesians, to seat it at the right hand in glory. And he prayed for all those that confess him before men, the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, all those that you've given me might be with me where I am and behold my glory. I believe that's the 14th chapter of the Gospel of John. Okay. And, Father, all those that you've given me might be with me where I am and behold my glory. There's another one I wanted to bring out. And because I'm 78, I just had a, a, blain, a, a brain blackout, blackout, whatever. For our sins to deliver us from this present evil age. And boy, is this present evil age evil. Uh, according to the will of our God, El Father, El Yan, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. Sila Shua. Sila, you find in Psalms, to meditate to take a time of pause to meditate and think on. Selah, Shua, Yahoshua, Yah, the short form name of the Father and the Son, have identical names, short form. Y-H, we add the vowel, Y-A-H, hallelujah. How am I doing on time? Time, 12 minutes, long teaching. All right, we're going to end it. Five verses in Galatians. The foolish fall away bewitched church, all the believers in the center of Turkey, Asia, fell away from Paul's teachings, and Judaizers came in behind Paul, twisted and distorted his teachings, and deceived many. Do not be deceived. Hear the voice of the Holy Spirit that bears witness to truth in the word. That means two, three, or four scriptures saying the same thing duplication, repetition. The word verifies the word, not man's private interpretation. Love you. Bye.